Good evening. Welcome to Options Tender. I hope everybody had a wonderful trading day. It was a huge bounce. Beautiful thing. Um, hope everybody was able to capitalize on it. Um, so we're going to go through the market with the um, trend lines here, then we'll go to the ex options expected move. We'll go down to the ES on a lower time frame so we can see what happened for the day and to uh, check out what uh, might happen tomorrow. Also, we'll uh, go through some individual names that we mentioned earlier in our morning video. And uh, from there, we'll, we'll move on to the next trading day. So thanks for joining us. Um, if you like this information, please subscribe. Hit that notification so you can get all this information every morning, every evening, after the bell, and even on the weekend. We're also putting out some bonus uh, trade ideas for you so everybody can <laughs> spread the word and spread the wealth. All right, let's jump into it. We have the SPX here on the daily. We're starting with the trend is our friend here, and we are on minute wave. We finished three, came down with huge correction here you know it looked like the world was ending but we bounced off the 50 ma back into that channel range here now uh-oh we're not out of the water yet okay today looked like we were just gonna blast through the roof but um we came right back into a back test of this trend line here and also the 8 ma and also uh, in confluence with the 20 ma as well so a lot to overcome there tomorrow best the bullish scenario would be to gap over it we do have some puts um, that we added on here some put protection for all of our positions because tomorrow we can easily get down um in order to in my opinion in order to gain more momentum to to get back over this trend line here okay so um we're looking at the macd we had a um, MACD bearish crossover and we're if you look at the histogram we're starting to curve back up just the beginning of maybe maybe going sideways to up and that's what we were looking for that's what we mentioned this morning now we just need a little bit more momentum momentum in order to do that now let's go down to the 65 minute chart so we can get down to the nitty-gritty wait 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 before we do that let's look at the options expected move almost forgot that we have uh, uh what's planned the options expected move was 127 points that so volatility has grown and therefore our moves to the upside and downside are huge and that's just a trader's dream so it's a beautiful thing where we started the week off here at the white line and 127 points to the upside is this orange line and 127 points to the downside is this orange line i'll put a card up top if you're not familiar with the options expected move so you can uh, go ahead and watch that short video just say so, just to have aware uh, awareness of what we look for as options traders here you can also buy stocks and and use this video as well but we trade options and um i just want to share that type of information with you so looking to the upside so far down to the 65. let's move over let's change our board to the oh let's go to the es 65 get them with all the lines on it <laughs> lots of details here so it looks like we had this um this falling megaphone type action here we could have drew a channel we tried a couple different things but this is what i feel like best matched we had uh from the top here this is our wave three going into wave four we had huge a b c now i believe that's over and we uh, we completed our wave one i do think that we have to come down just a little bit because on the on the daily we got to work off that bearish momentum so we're not going to shoot just straight up it's possible but not probable so i think right here resistance we put we added some but, puts here we kept with our calls but we added some puts just to protect those positions for tomorrow and i do believe maybe we'll come down back down to this fuchsia we don't have to but that's what we're playing um, as soon as we see a little downside or if we break this area here remember we're in a downtrend until we uh, until we uh, break over this downtrend line here so technically we are making lower highs and lower lows so we want to make a high we made an even high here 
we want to make a higher low to make a higher high that is the basics of trading you guys that's market structure if you're not familiar with market structure please look that up that is the fundamentals of trading very good so we had our bullish divergence down here at the low so that's why we played calls we started adding on to our calls we even had a spy call as well we didn't think we'd make it all the way up to this point but that's a wonderful move for the bulls we actually started to um, add on to our puts at the 37.53 area and which is just fine you know we just want to protect our our money it's all about risk management all right um so that's it tomorrow we're just looking for a lower high uh, i'm sorry a lower um uh, we're looking for a little bit more downside to make a higher low and then we'll make a higher high breaking that downtrend okay the bearish scenario um i did see a couple things on on twitter there's some bearish people this would be the resistance and you go for a lower low that would be pretty tragic i don't see that happening but you never know right so we have protection on anyway so we're not worried about it all right moving on to our individual names beyond beyond we're gonna go to the daily just so we can look at this at a bigger perspective all right we came down we're making the end of wave four right at the 8ma look at that bullish reversal candle we need some follow through to uh, confirm this our momentum's to the upside and we are in a in out spread we'll put some uh we'll we'll add this uh card up top so if you don't know if you're not familiar with an in out spread just so you can see it's a very conservative uh low payout but high probability it's a separate account that i have um moving on to fubo fubo this was our main play today we did awesome we're still in this triangle here um we are in an inside week i did take profits i i may add back into there but you know i want to see if we can break out of this triangle first it may look like something like this after this fourth wave you know fubo can squeeze you know everybody's talking about squeezing right now well <laughs> fubo is one of those candidates so if it starts to have momentum straight up we're going to get in there and we're going to ride it and we're going to take profits as we go um because that's the key to winning here take your profits don't get greedy next snow snow is a reversal play that um we are going for we're in an in out spread already we were as of last week looks like we're cracking out of this downtrend line now maybe some follow through and a bullish macd crossover would do the trick tomorrow all right fastly fastly didn't do anything today but we have like a triple inside day here so we did put in our starter position we bounce off the 8ma i expect some sort of move whether it's to the downside or upside everything's looking up all of the time frames monthly week, weekly and daily so we're going to stick with this one we're going to see if we can break out of this range and hopefully for the week the, this inside week similar very similar to um uh fubo so that was fastly looking at baba baba we've gone over almost daily it feels like but look at this one if you would have got in this morning just like i mentioned breaking off of the 8ma pushing up um out of this flag formation this was an a b c correction wave four is over moving up to wave five we got plenty of room to run that was baba half a baba how about b a <laughs> Boeing Boeing we expect something to start happening pretty soon here we are in this balance area where it's sort of inside day outside day down inside day just just pushing back and forth so this one is probably going to break pretty hard when it does we have the MACD still almost almost going sideways you see the histogram moving on up there so we expect a crossover pretty soon looking for BA sometime later this week or early next week Uber Uber this is our last one here we added back onto uber right into the adam a oh my gosh what was i thinking there's some resistance there but we think uber is going to push right through we have the macd crossing over the zero line back into bullish territory going sideways we we're looking for that crossover so it has a little bit of work to do maybe we come to this resistance we'll take some um we'll either 
take profit or we will take profit and roll the position out to next week by the time it gets up here we do we do expect that to happen soon okay so i hope all this information is so helpful to all the new traders and maybe even the the veterans that are looking for trade ideas and um we uh here at options center are just trying to help a bunch of people so all right please hit that like button notification subscribe and we'll talk to you in the morning. Yeah. <laughs>